What's up, y'all? I got something to say. Can I say something? This is the realest thing that I've ever said, okay? It's a lot of people walking around that I'm noticing everywhere that is sad and depressed in a bad mood. They're not in the Christmas spirit, and that's fine. It's your prerogative. Do whatever you want to do. But aren't you tired of being sad? Aren't you tired of, like, fucking being depressed and sitting around and moping around and wondering, like, when life is going to get better? When is it going to get good? Huh? Like, get your ass up and go do something. Like, get out of the house. Go to the movie. Go to the park. Get off motherfucking Instagram, okay? And I know what I'm talking about. This is your big bro. I've been depressed. I've been suicidal. I've been broke with nobody to help me. No mom, no dad, no grandma, no brother, no sister, nobody. Me trying to figure it out, okay? And yeah, it's hard. Okay, so here's the part two. Is it hard? Hell the fuck, yeah, it's hard. It is hard. I make it look easy, but I know it's hard. When you're depressed and you can't get out of the bed and your body will not move and your mind won't allow you to move into anything more and you're not washing or you're washing and all you do is sit in the house and Uber Eats, okay? Or you don't have any money, rent is due, all right? Maybe you're sick, maybe your ex cheated on you, I don't know, but whatever it is, I didn't live through it and been through it. I'm 46, okay? I know I look good, but this isn't about me. Come on, lighting. You have to find your happy. You gotta figure this shit out, okay? Now, my job is trying to inspire people. I try to give information and content to inspire you, but you gotta take that inspiration and do something with it. Fuck, okay? It's your life. All right, this is the final part. Nobody is coming to rescue you. So you gotta get that shit in your mind. Nobody cares about your past, about what happened to you. You still have life. Whether you wanna accept it, believe it, think about it or not, God is with you in your circumstance because you still have life. And the life that is moving through your body, that's God. You need to pray, you need to have faith, you need to affirm, whatever the hell it is, but you gotta figure it out and you gotta get to your happy, okay? Because life is motherfucking short. It's a lot of shit going on in the world. And yeah, I have a lot of shit that has happened to me. But I don't let it stop me from finding my happy every day. And it's hard. I miss my mom. I never had a dad. I miss my grandmother. I miss being around friends and family and all of that. You don't think that shit makes me sad? All right, like I was saying, do I have days where I am sad? Yeah, sometimes I'm sad because I miss my mom. I miss the fact that, like, we never had the relationship that I always wanted. She went to jail when I was six. She went to prison when I was... She went to prison when I was six, got out when I was 12, died when I was 13. You don't think I think about that? You don't think I think about my grandmother? You don't think I wish that I had, like, my twin brother was living? You don't think I wish I was in a relationship? Okay, then on top of that... I'm a spiritual healer. I'm a medium. I love doing what I do. I put a lot of content out to the world. I don't always get the results that I want. Sometimes I put a lot of effort into my content and I might get two likes, two comments. Okay? Yeah, I'm not supposed to think about that, but that shit bothers me. I'm a human. Okay? I meet people all the time that say they want to be my friend, but they don't act like it. They don't. And so the other thing is... Like I said, I meet people all the time, but I live in LA. Everybody here is fake. They just don't know that they're fake because they're all in survival mode, trying to be seen, trying to find stability. So then it's like, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like I have dreams, I have goals, I have my moments, but I always make sure that I find my happy. I always make sure that I connect with God, the God of my understanding. I pray, I affirm, and I keep going. I keep going. I refuse to give up on myself. I refuse to be unhappy. I refuse to sit in the house and like let like pass me by because that shit, you're here one minute and then you're going like the next minute. And then it's like, okay, it's your life. I had one more thing that I wanted to say and I can't even remember it because I'm really riled up about this because I just see so many people wasting their life. What are you waiting on? The bottom line is you just have to redefine what happiness is going to look like for you now and create a system, a way of living, a way of life that works for you, that allows you to find happiness, to find some sense of contentment, 
okay? And this is the, the sad thing, but I'm gonna give you tough love. You're gonna have to learn to live with the fact that they're not here no more, period, point blank. Accept that they're dead, they're gone, but their spirit and their soul is with you. Deal with that. Deal with the heartbreak and the hurts. Like all that shit has happened, but you still have life and you still have choice. And you have to just figure out, figure it out. And sometimes you can't figure it out, so you do it moving. And when you do it moving, things happen, things change. You end up somewhere, you see something, you're inspired. You start to find you again. You start to feel like yourself again. And I know what I'm talking about. I know what I was going to say. I'm going to do another video. This is what I was going to say because I forgot. Because I'll be trying to give y'all diamonds, but y'all don't be listening. You choose your unhappiness instead of listening, watching content, reading the shit that I write to post. I don't know anybody that has suffered more than me. And I'm not trying to be like, you know, this isn't the, the suffering Olympics or the trauma Olympics. Like, oh, I've been through bad shit. But most of the people I know still have a mom, still have a dad, have a relationship, have kids. Maybe you don't have the money you want. Maybe you don't have the job that you want. Okay, you're not alone. You don't celebrate the holidays alone. You still have somebody that you're, you know, related to, that you can still connect to, that you can still, like, check in with. Okay? And then you might just be by yourself, and that's cool, too. But I know what I'm talking about because I've been able to crawl out of the deepest, darkest hole back into the light again. And... When you've lived in the dark for years and years and years and you've been sick and you haven't been able to see a way out of it and then you find your way out of it, like you literally decide that no matter what, you're going to figure it out and you figure it out, you can't go back. But I know I'm living proof. I am an example of somebody who has been in hell, literally, with no help. God got me out of it. God got me out of it. Those of you that have been following me for a while, you know my story. You know I had a spiritual awakening and that's how all this stuff started because this is not the life that I would have chose for myself, but it's the life that um, God has had for me. Okay? So I love y'all. You know I normally don't like to curse, but whatever. Find your happy. Find your happy.